Hi ladies and gents, welcome to another video on this channel. You know, I wanted to do something different that I don't normally play with. I'm always sticking to the neutrals and the things I'm most comfortable in with, but it's time to step out of the comfort zone and try some new things. So this is the look that we came up with today. It looks really, really, really beautiful. And you guys just want to see like how I got this look. So, if you guys want to see how I got this look, or how I achieved this look, what palette we used, all of that good stuff, then please keep on watching. I've already done my eyebrows and primed in my face, so we're going to jump right into foundation. Okay, yes, that foundation a key. You guys, I promise... Then I'm going to get this set up more better because I know it's not the best. Not the best. So now that we have our foundation laid out. Did I even mention I went in with the Super Stay foundation? Now I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Concealer. I'm pretty sure you guys can like freaking... You guys already know my makeup steps already. I suck on those ojos. Cerrados. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and just set my face. I kind of lost my three of thought right there because because the people here are fighting and I can hear them like if they were in this room. Es un cuento de nunca acabar. You guys already know they're fucking loud as fuck. So I'm just going to go in with my Anastasia powder and contour. Vamos a hacer baking. Vamos a hacer baking. Baking is one of my favorite steps. I just love to bake. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the eyes. A ver, ¿qué vamos a hacer con estos ojos? So here she is in all her glory. Probably say this is one of the best palettes made of all time. So what I'm doing, I'm just starting with a transition shade. Obviously, you guys always want to start with a transition shade. So I had a little fallout right here, so I just put more baking powder. I should have thought about that like before I started laying down the color, because obviously if you're doing a smoky eye, you're gonna have some fallout. So what I'm doing, you guys, is this, I, la I lay down the color with this flat brush. And then with the same color, that's what I'm using to blend it out. Because like I said, I don't have any similar colors to it. So now that I have this color laid down, I want to go in with the shimmery shade next to it. Looks very beautiful. Haven't used it in a long time. Wow, so that definitely is... A beautiful ass shade. Let's add some a brow bone highlight. So I'll just take this powder off and hope that like this is a fallout is not gonna like fuck up my nose. Fuck you guys, I messed up my nose. I messed up my nose, I messed up my nose. Okay, well, that was my fault for not putting Baking powder. <sighs> so now let's do el, um, the lower lash line. God, I saw these people got me. They got me. Losing my train of that. And voila, you guys. We have our eye look complete. Um, I only went in with, let's see what shades I went in. I went in with this shade right here to start off my transition. Then I moved on to this shade over here. And then we just blend, 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 blend this one to finish off the look. And then for brow bone and inner corner highlight, I used this shade up here, which is super beautiful. And I think it complements this look so well. But I'm loving this look so i'm gonna go in with my lorac highlighter 
And now, let's put on some blush. I'm going to go in with the LA Girl blush. Pretty sure this is in the shade Just Playful. Yes, yeah, Just Playful. So I definitely feel... Okay. For this look, like we need a gloss. So... I'm gonna go in with another LA girl lip liner of course this is in the shade sugar and spice one of my favorite shades I use it all the time I also put in some gloss and I think I know the perfect gloss the Patrick star and it's called mama star I love this shade of this gloss. I don't know why. I don't wear it more often. Actually, yeah, I did. I lost it. But now that it's back in my possession and that I found it, then I'll probably start wearing that gloss more because it's such a beautiful shade. So, yeah, so all we need to do now is set our face and put on some eyelashes. So, let me go ahead and do that. Como siempre, I'm going to set my face first with the MAC Prep and Prime. I always set my face with this. This is like, oh my god, magic in a bottle. And it's just gonna bring all this more to life. And then I will be right back. Okay, you guys, we're back, and this is the finished result. I'm actually super wild. The lashes to say are the KO1 from AliExpress. Now, I don't know if it was because I didn't do my makeup. As regularly as I've been doing it now okay, maybe I just didn't like see myself with eyelashes so I wasn't used to it or something because now I'm starting to freaking love these lashes and I'm gonna order more as soon as I get the chance to love just this palette in general but that shade is very unique and very beautiful as is the shade next to it. So I'm definitely excited to start playing with this palette. Um, even more. Because like I said it's one of the best palettes ever made of all time. So that is it for this video you guys. I hope you guys like that. I hope you guys like me like stepping out of my comfort zone. And trying new things. Not really new things but just like playing with more color I guess we can say. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it very much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. It literally only takes a second. So with that being said, you guys, um, this is it for this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.